All right, Coach Beard here today. We're going to talk about plane matching. A lot of misconceptions about how to plane match pitches. In baseball, we get two levels of pitches basically, and any certain degrees in there. We have a flat pitch that's a high strike, and we have a lower pitch that's going on a downhill angle. Most pitchers in baseball throw from 10 or 2 o'clock. Yeah, every once in a while we get one of these guys that throw from down here, but most pitchers. 90-95% of the guys throw from here, so we're going to see more flat pitches or downhill angled pitches, and we want to be able to play match. To be able to play match, it's pretty simple, but guys have been misled over the years. They've been taught to get the bat level, and the bat does get level, it just doesn't get level with the ground. It's going to be level with the plane of the baseball. So. A lot of guys misinterpret that and they think to get the bat level with the ground. We know the best hitters in baseball, they're timing in game three to four swings that they're perfectly on time. The other six or seven swings, their timing is either late or either early. And we have to be able to hit when our timing is a little early or a little late. Especially at high levels, timing gets extremely difficult. Um, if my bat is coming down and breaking the plane of zones, that doesn't allow me to be a little bit early or a little bit late. If my bat is coming on the zone and lifting off of that zone, it doesn't allow me to be a little bit early, a little bit late. So I want to be able to hit even when my timing is a little early or a little bit late, and plane matching is the way to do that. Here's some of the common problems that we see with plane matching. A lot of times we'll see guys, they will bend their knees to try to get the back level on that low pitch. Another common mistake hitters make is when the pitch is down, they'll take their hands out away from their body and take the bat, down, bat head down to the baseball. And in doing so, I will cut through that plane. So if my timing's perfect, I might can square it up and hit it hard. However, if I'm a little bit early or a little bit late, I'm going to miss hit the baseball. A couple of other things that we might see how guys try to plane match, but they do it ineffectively. We'll see a guy maybe on a low pitch will drop his backside or get more backside active and get loopy with the swing. We'll see that U-shaped swing. We're not working on plane to the pitch. And we're gonna, if our timing is good, we might can square it up and make solid contact, but more than likely, um, our timing is going to be a little bit early, a little bit late, so that's not going to allow us to square that ball up and hit it with any kind of authority. Of course, one of the other things that we see is we see guys trying to take the bat head straight to the baseball. Sometimes this is caused by rotational issues and shoulders are early. If the shoulders are early and it forces the hands forward, the barrel is above the hands. So if the ball is coming on a downhill angle, the player has no choice but to take the barrel down to the ball. So by doing that, they're going to cut down through the plane of that pitch. Okay, so what's the proper way to plane match a pitch? The proper way is to get the shoulders and the bat head on the same plane. So on a high pitch, it's simple. Of course, this is why we teach our pitchers to throw the ball downhill at level one because hitters have to make more adjustments to those pitches. On a high pitch, if you notice, as I connect and go to contact, barrel of my bat and my shoulders are on the same level. Okay, well how do I do that and hit a low pitch? First, of course, we have to recognize the pitch is going to be on a downhill angle and that's part of our vision mechanics. As we recognize that the pitch is down, the player is going to be able to connect, stay soft in his knees, and he's going to have to maintain posture but change his posture. And if you notice on a low pitch, my shoulders and my bat head are on the same plane. So I'm getting my bat on plane with that pitch, again, allowing me to be a little bit late or a little bit early. It's very important when the player tries to change his posture, though. If he tries to change his posture too soon, then he's going to end up changing the shoulder angle early and he's going to end up dropping the bat head. So when a player makes that postural adjustment through his swing, it's going to be after connections. So after the player connects to the top half, then you'll start seeing as he goes rotational with the upper torso, then you're going to see that angle change and get on plane with the pitch. 
And this is, it's not an uppercut swing. Again, it's getting on plane with that pitch.